hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make sago balls or sago bites as you call it i am making this snack for this navratri vrat or fast and there is no complications of soaking sago or boiling potatoes in this recipe it's very easy to make and very delicious to eat you may serve it with any kind of vrat chutney or as a tea time snack so let's see the recipe here i have taken 1 cup of sago it's dry sago as you can see now i'll grind it into a fine powder here the powder is ready i have made it as fine as possible actually we need a very fine powder for this recipe keep this powder aside and here i have taken 3 potatoes i have peeled them off as you can see and washed them very nicely now we have to grate them so i have a fine grater here it is it's a very small size grater as you can see the small size grater is the best for this recipe because we don't actually have to think about the potatoes while cooking they will be cooked very quickly and easily so now all the potatoes are grated as you can see they are very nicely done now we have to add some other things to it so at first i am going to add salt normally rock salt is eaten during our vrat or fast it is called sendha namak in hindi so now i am adding sendha namak according to taste and uh, finely chopped green chilies according to taste at the same time i am adding some uh, roasted peanut powder simply i roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after cooling down i have grinded them into a coarse powder so now i am adding 2 tablespoon of roasted peanut powder and here is our sago powder now we'll add sago powder gradually to the mixture and mix everything very nicely with my hand i washed my hand very properly now i am mixing everything with my hand we'll need it like a dough for our chapati or roti don't add so much powder at a time because uh, we need the perfect consistency of the dough i'm making this snack for two persons only change the quantity of your ingredients according to your requirements and you may notice that i'm kneading the dough with my hand and the dough is formed very nicely so now we have to make balls from this dough don't make very large balls because we have added potatoes raw and we want our potatoes to be cooked very nicely so we'll make small sized balls just like this as you can see the first is ready so let's make all the balls from the dough the balls are little smaller than regular laddus and it's the perfect size for our perfect cooking so let's make all these balls and they are done as you can see now we have to fry them so for frying i have taken a frying pan you may take a deep fry pan but i have taken a normal frying pan and adding peanut oil that we eat during our vrat you may add any kind of oil that you eat for your vrat there is no problem let the oil heat well and uh, when it is medium hot we we'll add the balls one by one now the oil is medium hot and i have kept the heat on medium now i am adding the balls one by one and here i have added all the balls into the oil and now we won't disturb them immediately we have to wait for some time about 4 uh, to 5 minutes on medium heat and after that we'll flip them because we don't want our balls to break so we have to wait patiently and while rotating the balls i have put my induction on low heat and now on low heat i'll fry the rest now i'll fry them on low heat until a nice light red color i'll not make them very dark red color on the pan because after cooling down they will be little darker so i'll make light red color on pan and after that i'll take them out 
I have kept the heat on low because I want the potatoes to be cooked very nicely. Let's wait for some time. And now the color is nice light red as you can see. And now it's high time to take them out from the pan. Because if you wait now they will be darker and after cooling down they will be black almost. So now we will take them out from the pan and take them on a kitchen paper. I am taking them in a strainer to strain the oil very nicely. And after draining the oil very nicely I will take them on a kitchen paper or a kitchen tissue. And now you may notice that the color is little darker and uh, they are very crispy from the outer side and very soft from the inner side and very delicious to eat with uh, normal vrat chutney for example coconut peanut chutney but now I am going to serve them with tea so I haven't made any chutney with them. The recipe is very simple friends so try this simple recipe at home and enjoy your navratri and uh, let me know about your experience. I am breaking a ball in front of you to show the inner side of the ball it is very crispy from the outer side as you notice and the inner side is like this the potatoes are very nicely cooked and they are very yummy to eat so must try this simple recipe during navratri and uh, hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care